Hey, welcome or welcome back to 4F Beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. Or what I do know is that 2019 as I'm filming this is drawing to a close it'll probably have closed by the time you see this film um, so last year I had a list of brands I wanted to try in 2019 uh, there's the list I'll run through them with you again Hourglass including the Confessions lipsticks Viseart Igneous Cosmetics I did have Linda Halberry on there but I changed her for Cleona. Sugar Pill, Colour of Rain, Dominique Cosmetics, Violet Voss, Lunatic Cosmetic Labs, and then maybe Davina Cosmetics and Luxy Beauty. So, how did I do? Well, I got the Hourglass Confessions lipsticks. Love, 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 love them. Um, so, so much so. I bought this set on special from Beautylish and then someone on Depop was selling another one and it's got two more of these lilac holders with obviously the two shades in it and another th shade as well so super happy that I managed to get matching lilac ones as well because obviously you know they're usually silver um, I also picked up the Hourglass Dim Light, which I wanted to try as the overall setting powder and compare it to the Wet n Wild uh, Primer in Reserve Your Cabana which you can actually start to see the grooves coming up on this because I used it so much before I had the hourglass one. Um, this is comparable for the hourglass. Obviously it's not exactly the same but it will give you that similar kind of blended all over effect. I then picked up a euphoric strobe light highlighter to try in the mini size and my most recent acquisition I picked up the Ambient Ghost Quad blushes, which is what I've got on today, which look like this. Now for this one, I just swirled across all four to give this a rather gorgeous effect. I did go a bit ham with a bronzer, but there we go. I have got a bronzer from Hourglass on its way to me, so I will soon be able to do a full Hourglass. Apart from my shadow. Um, I will be able to do a full Hourglass powder film for you. Um, Viseart, my wonderful, wonderful friend Kay, uh, sent me the Libertine palette which was so amazing of her. Um, it cemented in me that I do like the Viseart formula. So I picked up the Petite Pro number one, which is this one. And I picked up the Soleil, which I'm not gonna get all of them out because we'll be here all bloody night and it's over in my uh, storage thing. So, uh, Viseart, that's a big tick. If you can hear that scratching, we live in the countryside. We occasionally get mice in the walls. Just ignore it, it'll go away. Um, Igneous Cosmetics, I gave those a try. Um, again, really liked them. Not necessarily going to order more from them because I didn't feel they were any better quality than than some of the other indie brands that I've got. Will you be quiet, Mr. Mouse? Thank you. It's night time. They come out at night. 
um, Cleona Cosmetics I tried um, when they had their special offer on and they had cheaper shipping to the UK which was amazing um, and they had uh, a sale on as well so I picked up four of their blue shades if you remember when I was waiting to get waiting for Jeffrey to release his blue blood palettes I picked up those Cleona shades love those they really are nice um, pain I need to wiggle and make up this bit out and again I might not um, yeah so I loved those ones I really really want to try some of their stained glass collection but I think that's going to be too rich for my purse sadly um, maybe one day I'll be big enough that they will want to send me some PR until that time I'm going to have to lust over everybody else's collections I think Sugar Pill, obviously way back at the beginning of last year I won the voucher from Panic Antics and picked up some Sugar Pill and I believe some Coloured Rain Shadows which is the next one on the list uh, those are again in one of the storage drawers in my it's not a Z palette, it's a something else palette because it's a double fold out one but it's the equivalent of a magnetic palette anyway um, I like the sugar pill shadows but I don't really understand why people were raving about them the way they do to be perfectly honest this elf palette performs just as well as those sugar pill ones did this is uh, earth and ocean if you're wondering and it was the one that I've been wearing all over the Christmas week so if you've seen photos of me going up that's what I was wearing, actually I wore that Christmas day um, Coloured Rain absolutely fell in love with their quality and Hubby then bought me the Safari Rain palette and matching lipstick uh, I believe that was either an anniversary or it was a birthday I think it was my birthday present this year they're only two weeks apart so so yes, I love those. I can see why people rave about Coloured Rain. Dominique Cosmetics, I tried the Lemonade palette. like it. I've only used it a couple of times, uh, mainly because I had... I was trying to use some of my older palettes this year and not buy as many new ones. Um, but I used it off camera quite a bit and really liked it. I do like the look of her latest one. They got a mini version of it in BoxyCharm in America. I can't remember what it's called, something like Thunder or something like that. But um, I like the look of that. I'm going to keep my eye out for that and hopefully, fingers crossed, prices may go down in the new year and I might be able to pick one up. Um, Violet Voss. I finally got round to trying Violet Voss. I managed to pick up from Depop the hashtag palette which I have wanted for ages golds and purples hello perfect for Christmas um, so fell in love with that and then I bought one of their little mini um, fun size palettes earlier this year the fruit sorbet one so again yep yeah, happy with that lunatic cosmetics I tried their palette beautiful coffin shaped palette gorgeous mauve and berry toned shades sadly I don't know whether I got a bad palette but I really really was unimpressed I don't know I don't know why people are raving about Lunatic Cosmetics the way they do because the palette I had was pretty mediocre to be honest. Really mediocre if I'm frank. Um, I won't be buying any more Lunatic Cosmetics. Um, certainly any powder products. I may look and try Lippy but it kind of put me off the whole thing seeing how bad that palette was when everyone that I've seen who've whenever I've seen films on it people are like oh this is amazing the pigments awesome it's blendable blendably 
you know, blendability is wonderful. And I'm just like, have I got a different palette? Wasn't impressed with that at all. Didn't get around to trying to vein her and look see. Uh, there's a reason for that. Partly, shipping costs to the UK for both of them is ridiculous. And also, I don't know if it's, I think it's Davina that, that states, it's either Davina or Luxy, one of the two, states quite clearly that they hold no responsibility for any breakages outside the US. So if they arrive with me, completely smashed to pieces, they wouldn't give me a refund, they wouldn't give me a replacement. So that has kind of put me off buying from them, because it's going to be an expensive purchase for me once I add on postage to the UK, import tax, handling fee um, and then if it arrives and it's smashed and I've wasted all that money I'm disabled, I'm on a very fixed income, I can't be throwing money away like that so again I think I think both Davina and Luxie will have to remain pie in the sky for me until I'm big enough to get um, PR sent or they rethink their shipping, you know, if they manage to sort their shipping prices out um, and if they'll guarantee refund or replacement if anything arrives broken then I'll consider using them but until those things happen that's just outside my budget sorry I didn't mean to yawn but it is midnight Yes, I'm recording this at stupid o'clock again because the wonderful neighbours have been so noisy all day I couldn't feel because it was getting picked up in my camera. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> right, um, I have got a list of brands that I want to try in 2020. Again, I'm going to try and minimise the purchases that I make. I'm In the new year, I am going to be going through and showing you my collection and doing a declutter of the palettes because when I sorted them out into these drawers I suddenly realised just how many I had and how many similar palettes I've got so I'm going to go through and really be brutal with myself this time and that was quite good last time I'm going to be even more strict this time and I'm going to try and minimise purchases to things that really, really grab me or that would be a unique addition to my collection. So, um, I tried VE Cosmetics in 2019. That was the palette for the recently deceased. Absolutely fell in love with their formula. Definitely want to try their Grimoire palette, which is sort of like a grey, green, grungy sort of... So I definitely want to pick that up and try that and uh, make sure it wasn't just a one-off good palette from them. I'm sure it wouldn't be. Um, but yes, I intend to try some more VE Cosmetics this year. Uh, but these, there's only five brands that I absolutely want to try. And then I have three brands that are... Uh, Maybe I may cut the yawn out. So I'm not going to put the list up yet. I'm not going to have you skipping ahead of me this time. Um, the first one that I want to try is Sigil Inspired. Now she's a Russian-based indie brand. Um, she has her website, but she also has an Etsy shop. And to be honest, I'll probably order through Etsy. Uh, it makes my life so much easier. Um, she has got some really, really pretty um, colours and, and pigments. Let me have a slurp and a drink. Um, yeah, she has. She's got some really pretty pigments that I want to try. Uh, Lethal Cosmetics. Now, the Brexit saga trundles on, but apparently the House of Commons has now agreed that we will leave 
the European Union on the 31st of January. Lethal Cosmetics being a German company, at the moment, until the 31st of January, I can order from them and not pay import tax. I have no bloody idea what the situation will be as from February. So if I'm going to try Lethal Cosmetics, it's going to need to be in January. So, fingers crossed, I have got, an, I've got my eye on a palette of theirs, which I like the look of. Um, and want to try. Um, I'd like to try Menagerie Cosmetics. Their feral palette has called me for quite a while, I will admit. Um, but again, at the moment, it's shipping cost plus import cost plus, 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 plus. So it's, it's going to be something I'm going to have to save for. Uh, likewise, Shroud Cosmetics, which used to be Strobe Cosmetics, they did the Creepy Cute palette, amongst others. I like the direction that they're going in now. They're going down a more grungy, kind of gritty route. Um, I'd like to try some of theirs. JD Glow, Lacey from uh, Spooky Lips and Fat Hips raves about JD Glow, especially their highlighters, so I'm I'm going to want to try some of those this year. I have seen a highlighter that they, um, gosh it was all over Instagram this year, it's um, like a silvery champagne base with a green shift to it. Oh, you know me and highlighters, she said covered in highlight. Um, so I really want to give them a try as well. But obviously, uh, apart from the Lethal cos I mean, Lethal Cosmetics are quite expensive for their products, but the shipping's not too bad. And like I said, if I order it before we leave the EU, I won't get hit with import tax and handling fee. So that's not too bad. The other four, Sigil, Menagerie, Shroud and JD Glow, it's going to be where I have to save money up because not only am I going to have the cost of the product I'm then going to have probably I don't know 20 bucks worth of um, shipping fees plus 20% taxed on arrival and they include the cost of the shipping fee not just the cost of the product oh yeah and then you get a handling fee as well which can be anything up to 20 quid on top of it as well so yeah so if I do manage to get all of those through hook, crook, gifting, sheer luck, lottery win, I don't know. Um, there's three other uh, companies that I see their stuff and I think, oh, I really want to try that. And that's, give me go. Give me a little bit of Try that again. Give me Glow Cosmetics. Again, Glow. They, they, they just, yeah. Alien Cosmetics. I'd like to have a look at. I've seen quite a few of their things that make me go, ooh, stop and take a second look at it. And Make Up a Murder, which are the, um, like, crime scene themed. So they, they do the tape for if you want to, you know, tape to get a really sharp line. And it's like crime tape. And they have like little bottles of poison, which is their loose pigments. And they do, as well as neon pigments, they do pastel neon pigments. Which I must admit appeals to me. Um, and they also do pressed powder palettes as well. So, uh, there's my list for 2020 of brands I want to try. Brands I might try and brands I want to try more of. So, let me know in the comments box below which companies you want to try out this year. Because it probably is going to be 2020 by the time I put this film up. Um, have you tried any of the ones that I've mentioned that I want to try? What do you think of them? What are your recommendations from them, if you've used them? 
what are your recommendations for their best product or the, if I'm only going to buy one thing from them what would you say is the best product to purchase? Let me know in the comments below and likewise if you have any voucher codes or discount codes or no way this girl can save a bit of cash on buying some of them my comments box is open my inbox is open on both Twitter and Instagram right I have started to yawn this is clearly the indication that I need to take this off and go to bed goodness knows how many yawns I'm going to have to cut out of this film there's another one To be fair, I have been up since about half past four this morning, so it, it's been quite a long day. So, if you are a regular viewer, please double check you're still subscribed, do all the good YouTuber and stuff, you know. Give me a like, give me a comment. If you're going to give me a dislike, tell me what you didn't like. Don't just hit the dislike button and run away. Be brave. Grow a pair. Grow some cojones. <laughs> I am losing the plot folks, it's clearly past my bedtime. Uh, if this is your first time here, hi, hello, welcome. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you didn't, there's an awful lot of other films you can watch where I won't be yawning and I'm not quite so manic because it's not being filmed at midnight. Uh, but if you did like what you saw and want to join in the fun and games, then I would be delighted to welcome you to the 4F family as well as everybody else. We are the nicest group on YouTube. So, as ever my darlings, all that remains for me to say is you'll stay fabulous and I will see you next time. Bye for now.